All right, all right, here we are in Dre Sanchez's YouTube channel's first video for Euro Truck Simulator 2. I've been playing this for a while, never streamed it, but am growing more and more fond of the game as well as the rest of the simulators that I do. So without further ado, let's take our Scania here. We've already started this mission. We're on en route from Luxembourg, uh, traveling to Hunadora, Romania. I'm pretty sure I butchered that. In this Scania, so without further ado, let's jump in. We just bought a garage in Vienna, Austria along the route, and I decided this would be a good place to start the video. So let's go ahead and hop in here really quick. Just take a look at hit our wonderful Scania in our garage here in Vienna. But we cannot wait too long. We got to get going because we're on the clock. So let's go ahead and fire this bad boy up. And uh, we'll get the music turned all the way down for now. And I like to travel with headlights on no matter the time of day just for safety. So there you go. Let's go ahead and uh, jump on board, of course, here. Let me make sure my track IR is configured correctly. And let's go ahead and get you guys a view of some foot pedals there. All right. Without further ado, let's go ahead and pull out of here. Might help if I... Uh, always happens to me after I take a little break from driving gotta remember where that friction point is at all right get these windows down here Might as well get some gas while we're at it. All right. Let's go ahead and fill her up. So I hope everybody's doing well. Again, just trying to keep the channel unique, trying different things all the time to make it better. Right now, I'm still unable to stream just because my high-end internet service provider is something still going on. So I think I'm going to have to go ahead and switch uh, service providers. Even though I've been with this one for quite some time. Anyway, it is what it is. Not meeting my needs, so... It's time to move on. Turn right. Will do. So again, we're in Austria. Hopefully I can catch the next countries that we come through, but if not, don't blame me. After 100 yards, turn left. Turn left. On the map, it's got the cities well, but also doesn't identify the borders of the country uh, as I would hope they would. In the map, that is, meaning that way I can tell from somebody who doesn't know much uh, what country I'm in. But I can recognize some of the city names, obviously, so I don't think I can. I think I pulled up too close to see the light. Let me pull back a little bit. Of course, shut her down. I think we got a green. I don't know why the lights are so close here. That was probably my fault. Ooh, can't believe I made that. Cross the rotary. First exit. And this is the 12 speed transmission that we have in there. Exit ahead. All right. 
Okay, so it's about 6.22 p.m. in the uh, simulation right now. Go straight. The uh, sound on this Scania is by uh, Zmod. Cruising right along here. Let's see, 80 kilometers is the speed. Per hour, that is. All right. Let's go ahead and get those noisy windows up now. It's quite a bump there. Here's a couple, look like another one. Man, uh, the difference in uh, railroad tracks and American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator, big difference. I took a pair of railroad tracks the other day. Just started driving the game maybe like five, six days ago. Again, I had it on my computer forever. Of course, it had to do the update. And uh, I went over across a pair of railroad tracks and booyah, the truck almost went flying. I'm like, oh, maybe I should slow it down a little bit more aggressively in this for the railroad tracks than I do in American Truck Simulator. Try not to break too many rules while we're here. Get the music turned up here in a minute. Anyway, so we're in route from Luxembourg to Romania. After 50 yards, go straight. Oh, this guy's not going to let us over. Go straight. They are so not user friendly here. But it's just like other drivers in real life. You put on a signal, they don't adhere to it or give you any type of love. So. I guess the realism is there. All right, anyway, I'm really enjoying all the scenery in Euro Truck Simulator. I haven't been to Europe in quite many years and definitely haven't traveled every country as I'm uh, able to in the simulator. So it's pretty cool to be able to travel this way, especially during these COVID times. Even though I'm vaccinated, I've been watching the news. Everybody seems like they're going up a little bit with the numbers and people are starting to put more restrictions again that were lifted. Like here in Cali, Los Angeles uh, County just reinstated, no matter if you're vaccinated or not, that you have to wear a mask indoors at all times and keep your social distancing. So that's going back backwards is not a good sign so we'll just have to see how things pan out all right so on this route today we are only 660 kilometers so that's not too far get rid of that Break the rules by five. Try to keep the speed down just a little bit. And we don't cause an international incident up in here, up in this place. All right. Let's crank up some tunes. The other background noise you hear is uh, the Euro Truck Simulator mod of the truck noises being modeled in here. So I got a laptop and some water on the seat over there. And maybe do some cruise control here. Fifty yards, go straight. Go straight. Yeah, Austria's exits are a little bit different 
they lose you lose a whole lane for a second until that intersection or that merge is done then you get the lane back which is kind of interesting to me they must not have traffic problems with that that wouldn't work here in the United States simply because uh, we're just too crowded here so if Austria is able to do that and not have any traffic problems that is awesome that's using basically the same space as two lanes but not using as many resources so that's good I just know here in the US it won't work what we have now is barely working because we're such a robust populated nation but I know Austria is beautiful I'd like to go there and visit and uh, travel these roads I'm curious to look at their road system Just a wee bit of traffic here. Let's see if we can get over. Seems to be picking back up. Let's go ahead and turn our Jake brake back on. Getting dark, it's getting dark. Gonna see if we can uh, do a rest area. As soon as the next one we see, so we can get some daytime driving in.
was going to get over to the left, but it doesn't look like that did much good. <laughs> Curious as to why he got over to the left. He must know something I don't. Or maybe he just heard me telepathy. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. I don't see any extra intersections coming up or anything where he would need to avoid that, so let's just scoot past him. Not that we're going to get much further. Looks like we have a right coming up here. Exit right ahead. All right, keep it nice and slow on this ramp. They come fast out of nowhere. There comes another one. That's what I've learned about this game. You gotta watch it. Big bumps in the roads over here. limit's pretty low over here. 70. Let's change that music up. Alright, looks like we got some beds coming up over here. We're going to take full advantage of these beds. We don't need any fuel right now.
All right. Time to go to sleep. Perfect. We'll get back on the road and see what our estimated time of arrival is. Hopefully we're not late because we chose to sleep. Guess I should have checked that. So we're expected to get there Friday today. Jobs due Saturday. So we're good. I'm taking the scenery now. We got a turn coming up here. Keep right. Will do. As the young lady says. where the yield works out Ooh. some tight roads over here look at this guy I guess he did it too You gotta really be able, ready to yield over here. I got a lot of bumps on these roads, as you can see. All right, we got 337 kilometers to go.
All right, if I see a garage here, I'm gonna buy it. I'm trying to look on that map. After 50 yards, turn left. All right, folks, we gotta come over. gonna take it he's gonna have to slow down so what good Samaritans do I also need to look for places to buy a trailer so I'm keeping an eye out for that as well let's turn this down for now some nice look at those buildings in the background some nice architecture there. After 100 yards, turn left. And I'm assuming I'm still in Austria just because of the roadways and stuff. I could totally be wrong though, turn so don't left. quote me on that. All right, let's see. We got a left turn approval here. Go straight. Will do. through some downtown area here see this is why I didn't want to miss the show Ooh, I wasn't even paying attention to that light all right I'm gonna pause it here for one split second just because there's something that's annoying me with my camera and I just want to fix it bear with me one second All right, sorry about that brief pause there. Let us see if we can make this work. My uh, view was a little off. All right, that's a little better. Let's do one more thing here. So when you're working with track IR, you want to try to make sure your view is kind of right where your steering wheel's at. So this looks a little bit better. I can work with this. All right. Time check here. 2 o'clock, or we'll get there at 2.18. 3.23 to go. Let's enjoy. Hopefully this road allows us some better speeds. roll our window down for some of these sounds for now. There we go. Ooh. Hear the sound of me going on the edge there. Like I said, I'm really enjoying these scenic ways here. These scenic views that uh, Europe has to offer that you don't get to see here in the U.S. Although we have our own scenic, beautiful scenic views here, I love the variety. I'm a person that's built to travel. After 100 yards, turn right. Turn right.
took that turn slightly fast. That's okay. Not really used to driving a 12 speed. Of course, all 12 gears aren't being used. The load is definitely not heavy for that. After 100 yards, turn left. Turn left. Again, it's uh, something different here too, doing videos and roadways that I'm not used to traveling on for the most part. The AI for sure is the same. I don't want to let you on, so there's that. Looks like we may have a border crossing or something here. We see a flag waving. After 50 yards, exit right ahead. Exit right ahead. They gotta get their papers in order there. Go straight. Border inspection. Not playing any games here. All right, you'll see here they're checking our documents. Please wait. <laughs> All right, looks like we've been approved. Let's see what these roadways are. I wonder if this is Hungary or Romania. Again, never driven here before, so we're doing this together. They got cameras, they don't mess around here.
At least the speed limit's better here for us. Control activated. 70 miles we got, 223 kilometers. Let's see what this guy does here. Guys living on the edge there. Alright, looks like we're pretty much going to be on this for a while. Speed limit's actually 100, but we can only go 90. Yeah, these trucks are like governed for 90. Making a turn here soon. Somebody over here, folks. Okay. 
a little bit of construction here going on. Detour for some, but looks like this is the way we had to go anyway. Keep right. After 50 yards, exit right ahead. Exit right ahead. Looks like we got a windy road coming up too. Nice and easy. Uh, you'd be doing 80 kilometers through here. making some progress here Let's check mileage 66 kilometers so we're going to be there soon enough folks after 100 yards turn left turn left
pretty windy over here. I wouldn't be able to remember my way back if it was off of memory, that's for sure. getting close we're doing a lot of windy stuff here so let's get the windows a little bit down keep right after 50 yards exit right ahead exit right ahead That was close. That was close. You really got to go slow on those ramps, I guess. We got lucky. Oh, look at that guy. After 100 yards, turn left. Turn left. Alright, we are getting close here. Gotta make sure they let us in first. Turn right. Let's 
see. Oh, turn right over here. Okay, I see the icon. Guys, witness that. She said turn right. That's what I was doing. I think I caught it. That's why we got to increase the map to this view right here. You have reached your destination.
wheelbase is much shorter than I'm used to with the American Truck Simulator, so I'm like oversteering some of the times. And it's on a little bit of a hill here, so that's why I'm keep uh, letting it stall out, but we made it anyway. All right, let's see what we have here. All right, we have officially made it. There we are all backed in with our excavator and somehow, some way we did it. Don't know exactly how, but couldn't have done it without you guys. Let's go ahead and drop the trailer here. And I guess that is it for now for this stream or this uh, actual video, which was supposed to be a stream. So until next time, we'll see you. Who knows if we're doing X-Plane, American Truck Simulator, DCS, or Euro Truck Simulator, or who else knows. But for now, this is going to be it for this video. Until next time, thanks for watching. You guys take care, and I will most certainly be checking in with you sometime soon. God bless.